first outing as Lyon manager for Fabio Grosso as his side headed to a breast side with the chance to go top of the table. It's a fourth side who dominated proceedings. Close early on, Jeremy Le Duron's fizzed effort clattered against the woodwork. This was about as close as OL came to a chance. Alexandre Lacazette trying to lead by example. The captain unable to find a way past Marco Bizot. Press continued to pile on the pressure, but it was one of their substitutions that made the difference. Steve Mounier brought on, making an instant impact. Initially heading across onto the post. And seconds later, well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, and he did just that. And this time round, burying his header into the corner. Put Brest into the lead with just three minutes of the 90 remaining. Leon's woes continue despite a managerial change. No such worries for Le Pirat to climb the mast to the top of the table. The weekend kicked off with the Leeds closest derby in terms of geography and fittingly there was little between Monaco and Nice in the table going into Friday's Côte d'Azur derby. Monaco top, Nice in third. The league leader's new signing Flo Balogun given the ideal opportunity to open his account for his new club from the spot after 10 minutes. But not taking that opportunity, Martin Bulka diving the right way and pushing away his effort. Just like in the first 10 minutes into the second half, Monaco would be awarded another penalty. This time, Morgan Sonson penalised for a foul on Takumi Minamino. Take two, Balogun decided to go with power rather than precision. But where Bulka went the right way first time, this time he correctly stayed down the middle. Balogun earns an unwanted statistic of becoming the first player to miss two penalties in the same Liga over its game since 2007. He said it was Nice's Jeremy Boga who came off the bench and made the difference, motoring onto a Melvin Bar ball, racing away, evading a challenge, firing in a superb individual goal. His first for his new club since his summer arrival, settle the match in Nice's favour and leave his club unbeaten after six for only the second time this millennium. Luis Enrique admitted he was wary of Marseille ahead of Le Classique despite PSG's rivals having endured a turbulent week in which head coach Marcelino had suddenly quit. His cautiousness would prove to be unneeded as Ashraf Hakimi opened the scoring inside 10 minutes in some style. Fullback curling an unstoppable effort inside Paolo Lopez's near post. It was Kylian Mbappe who had drawn the foul on the edge of the box but whilst it would lead to the opener Perhaps a poison chalice for the champions as their main man was forced off with an ankle injury as a result. Nonetheless, they would make it 2-0 soon after. Randall Kolu Moani prodding home his first goal since arriving from Eintracht Frankfurt. A fortunate bounce off the back of Lopez. With or without their top scorer, PSG would continue to find the net. Mbappe's replacement, Gonzalo Ramos, heading home and Usman Dembele cross for his first goal since joining on loan from Benfica. The home side controlled things from there, but they would add a final flourish in the 89th minute. Nolo Moani bursting away down the right. Incredible speed, stamina, having been on for the full 90. And then a pass to match, teeing up Ramos for his second and Paris's fourth. PSG record their joint largest ever win over Marseille at home in all competitions to leapfrog their rivals and return to the Champions League places. The promoted mess were unbeaten since the opening day as they came into their Derby de l'Est clash with Strasbourg to put an end to a three-game losing streak against their Alsatian rivals. A match a few chances, it was the home side who enjoyed the majority of them. On this occasion, captain Mathieu Udol unable to find the net though. On the other end, a warning sign. Manuel Omega failing to keep his effort down, too far away from the top corner. As often seems to be the way intense derby matches, this is an ability to take their chances would be punished. A little over five minutes remaining. A lucky bounce allowed Habib Diara to break into the box. Nothing lucky about the finish. Drilling a well-struck effort beyond Alexandra Ukija. Smash and grab for Patrick Vieira's men. Probably not the better side over the 90. But grabbing all three points and climbing to the top five. 
Struggling Clermont, hoping to get off the mark. And they made a trip to take on Le Havre. And that would be incredibly unlikely within a matter of minutes from kickoff. Home side taking the lead after four minutes. This way, Casimir winning possession on the right and putting in a wonderful cross for Nabil Aloui. Volleyed home low into the middle of the net for his fourth goal in four matches. Three minutes later, it would be two and almost deja vu. Casimir with another curling cross from the right, this time finding Mohamed Bayo. Took a touch and then placed the ball into the top corner, leaving Mori Dior no chance. Dream start for the home side. Nightmare continues for Clermont. Casimir the one handing out the gifts on his birthday. Two assists. Clermont look to get themselves back into the game and manage to halve the deficit in first half injury time through Sheikh Umar Konate. But Luav would hold on to a win which moves them up to sixth in the table whilst Clermont now sit rock bottom. Rennes were looking to extend their unbeaten start to the campaign when they travelled south to take on Montpellier in the weekend's penultimate game. The scorer of their late equaliser last time out, Ibrahim Salah, nearly got one earlier on here. And denied by the keeper. The question of if either side could tip the balance of a tight game in their favour. And it would be Montpellier who had the game's biggest chance on the hour mark. Fortuitous bounce, sending Wabi Kazri in on goal, but the Tunisian putting too much power into his effort, seeing the ball cannon back off the bar. Rennes boss Bruno Genesio responded by introducing Amin Guiri and Fabian Rida from the bench. The latter was also put through on goal with minutes of coming on, but denied by Lecomte rather than the crossbar. Ultimately, neither side could muster anything decisive enough in a low-tempo conclusion to proceedings. Simon Pelé's winless league run extends to four matches. Rennes have now drawn five in a row. Nantes have managed their first win of the campaign last time out and were looking to continue their upturn in form against the Lorient team who hadn't won at Le Bourgeois since 2007. It was Lorient who were quick to mount the pressure on the home side though. Found the back of the net after just six minutes through their young breakthrough star, Eli Junior Krupi. Teenager finding himself on the end of Vincent Lecoff's pinpoint cross years and 92 days old. Pierre Aristoui urged the home side to press high. The pressing would eventually pay off just before the break. Moses Simon feeding Matisse Ablin. Produced a deft turn, touch and then a precise finish for a goal to repay Aristoui's decision to put him in the starting 11. Just one minute after the restart they would complete the turnaround. Yirai Chomet adding himself to the list of players scoring their first goals with a powerful header corner to become the first Swiss scorer for Nantes since 1997. Shortly after, Mustafa Mohamed turned the match further in the Canaries' favour with a rocket of a free kick struck from 30 yards out. Perfect technique, ball hit with venom and pinpoint accuracy. Flying pass to Bogo for five in six now for the Egyptian. Orient's heads dropped for a while but a triple substitution sparked a newfound impetus and eventually 76th minute, Roman Fev produced a driving run into the box, halved the deficit. Great efficiency from the midfielder, seven goals from his last eight shots on target in the league. His team were less efficient, however, two goal deficit quickly restored. Eight minutes later, Simon twisting and turning, creating space for a pass to Florent Molle, finishing off the move, making it 4 2. But just two minutes after that, back to within one. Some quick combinations from Benjamin Mendy and Fev. And then Eugen dragging Lemelu back into the affair once again with a lofted finish. A breathless game. And this is then pushed desperately and nearly found an equaliser. Deep into injury time, 98 minutes on the clock. Isaac Torre saw a header saved by Remy Decom. Instead, one final twist as Nantes stormed forwards on the counter. Mohamed fouled in the box. Penalty the decision. Simon stepped up and dispatched with ease. Stop off an eight goal thriller at the Bourgeois. Not make it back to back wins. Launch themselves into mid table as Simon launched himself into the air. Last year's runners up Lons was still winless heading into match day six. Despite hitting the bar twice early on, it looked unlikely to break that run as they fell behind to Toulouse in the first half. 
neat piece of interplay through the midfield. Clever flick from Thijs de Linga. And Cesar Gelabert through on goal. Neatly dinking an effort over Brice Somba. In response, Lons up the pressure and were rewarded with a leveller in first half stoppage time. Wesley Said receiving the ball, flicking it past the defender, firing past Guillaume Restes. Goal against his old side, but no lack of celebration. Finally, an end to Lons's run of 55 shots without scoring in the league. Going all the way back to Morgan Gilavogi's 90th minute goal at the park almost a month ago. And it would be Gilavogi who ended up with the second goal. Ending the wait, not just for that goal, but the maiden win of 2023-24. Last season's surprise package finally moved off the bottom of the table. But they do remain inside the bottom three. <laughs> 21 goals in total across eight games, with Lille still set to face Rance on Tuesday. Not far off half of those 21 coming in the eight-goal thriller between Nantes and Lorient. Brest moved to the summit for the first time since match day 13 of the 2010-11 season. Lucky for some, but 13 years later they return to the top. Needs just one point back though, and the champions also now into their stride. Last year's silver medalist Lons are now at least off the bottom, not quite out of the drop zone. Lyon and Clermont sit below them, still without a victory. And the latter are unlikely to manage it. Match day seven as they host PSG. As Marseille and Monaco both look to bounce back from their derby defeats. They face off on Saturday night.